It's definitely possible for you to make manifestation easy. It doesn't have to be hard. Sometimes what makes manifestation appear to be hard is that you believe that it's hard. You believe that you don't deserve to attract things to you easily. But in this video, I'm going to prove that you actually do attract things to you easily. I want you to do something. I want you to look around in your environment right now. Look around, okay? I want you to just look at all of the inanimate objects in your current environment and ask yourself, how hard is it for you to currently manifest those things into your reality? Or did you just wake up and they were there? Now, if you go back in your memory you might say something like, man, it took a lot for me to get here. It took a lot of hard work. But maybe the hard work that you put in was just a permission slip that you needed to believe that you deserve the things that you've manifested. And if you have been putting in hard work, but you haven't yet manifested the things that you want to manifest, Maybe it's because you don't believe you deserve to manifest those things. So usually what happens is people put themselves on a certain pedestal in life. And then the things that they really, really want to manifest, they tend to put it on a higher pedestal. And because they put it on a higher pedestal, it makes them look up to the thing they want to manifest and it makes it seem like a climb but really you're doing it backwards really you're supposed to put yourself on a pedestal up here and you're supposed to look down at the things that you want to manifest because everything you want to manifest is beneath you you are the god you are the life force you are the universe you are the conscious creator so all of these inanimate objects are really beneath you. All of these inanimate objects are literally here to serve you. But most people look at it backwards because they don't understand who they truly are at the deepest level. They look at it backwards. They look at these inanimate objects as things that are out of their reach. Things that they have to aspire to attract. And a lot of people that break out of that mold are people that usually grind really hard. And the grinding hard subconsciously causes them to believe that they eventually deserve to be in the situation that they're in. But there's also people in life that naturally attract things to them. And these are people that consciously and unconsciously believe that they naturally deserve to experience the things that they want to experience. Now, what if I told you that working harder for most people is actually what keeps most people from attracting the thing that they want to attract? Because working harder is evidence that you don't really believe you can manifest it. And every time you work harder, you're just trying to subconsciously convince yourself that it's capable for you to accomplish. But a lot of times, some of the most sophisticated equations have come to some of the most brilliant minds when they took their eye off the project and went for a scroll. I think Albert Einstein was known for going, taking daily walks every single day. And he would discuss with some of his colleagues some of these theories that he had. And he would come up with some of the most amazing formulas. And he would solve some of the most amazing problems that he was trying to solve. But taking a break from it caused him to align with the answer. Now, what if you start looking at yourself as if you were the, at the top of the mound, at the top of the pedestal, and you start looking at all of these inanimate objects as if they were beneath you and that they were created to serve you. Everything around you was created to serve you. But most people have been convinced 
that they were created to serve the inanimate objects. And we got to be careful because even in a world of AI, right, AI was created to serve us. But if we're not careful, if you take that philosophy and apply to AI, you'll create a world where human beings are serving the AI. And so you got to look at everything around you as a tool. You're a king, you're a queen. And everything was put here to serve you on your mission. You got to have a mission. This is why I always talk about having a mission statement. Have a mission statement. Because when you have a mission, now you're going to manifest all of the tools that are here to support you on your mission or serve you as you go towards your mission. My mission is to help a billion people believe in themselves. My mission is to help people master their minds and spiritually align. My my uh, my passion and my mission is to help people master their minds and make money online. Those are my mission. And I attract all the tools to me that help me accomplish those goals. And that's what I'm trying to tell you that you can do. You can literally switch your mind to start attracting the things you want to attract to you easily and effortlessly. It's an energy game. I'm not saying you'll never have to put in any work, but think about it. Some of the hardest working people are the poorest people. You see it every single day. You see it every single day. And then there are people that appear to do nothing and they're living like kings. You see that every single day. You can keep lying to yourself and convincing yourself to believe that hard work is the way to success, but I'm here to tell you that it is not. In a world that we're living in now, you push a button and you can use AI to create dang near anything you want to create. And you're telling me it still takes hard work? You think it takes hard work for me to get on camera and record this video? Baby, this is easy. And I'm making the internet serve me as I'm on my mission. And I want to help you. I want to help you master your mind. Visit me at mindmastersociety.com. Let me show you how to take yourself from where you are to where you truly want to be. It's Robbie Cornelius. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if this video was very helpful for you.